So let's move into our Grenadier. We've got uh, All In Wouter modeling us uh, a wonderful piece of equipment here uh, in the... Oh, I love these mag cannons so much. So for your Grenadier, again, I feel like the Exo is strong no matter who you are. Uh, and that's mostly because I don't think they really need that extra third item slot that you can get. They've already got two slots for grenades. And here's the thing, you can't put a third grenade in that Predator Armor second item slot. That's only for utility items. No grenades. Not allowed. So obviously if you could take an extra grenade it'd be worth it. But seeing as you can't, I feel like Grenadiers combo really well with the Exosuit. Later on Grenadiers get an ability called Salvo that you can choose. That lets you fire either grenades or Exosuit heavy weapons as your first action without ending your turn. It just uses a single action. So Obviously, that makes them great users of the heavy weapons on the Exo right off the bat. You can, like with Wilder's build here, you could flamethrower and then plasma grenade, you could grenade and then flamethrower. You could do either of those and then move, you could do either of those and then attack. Uh, it just lets your grenadiers do a lot of stuff in one turn. The extra health is very useful for a class that's always at the front line, uh, suppressing or drawing a lot of fire towards themselves. Uh, and the extra armor is also very good. Uh, in this case, what else have we got? Uh, well, for the heavy weapon itself, I've opted for the flamethrower. The flamethrower is, like I was saying before, a long-range cone of fire. Quite literally, fire. Why I take that instead of, like, a rocket launcher or something, is a Grenadier already has a lot of, uh, a lot of grenades. In fact, we don't need an incendiary. We take something else, like, uh, you know, an acid, let's say. Because we've already got fire with a flamethrower, don't bother with another incendiary. Uh, but you know, the Grenadier already has all this circular AoE. That's really big, does a lot of damage. So why stack that even more, you know? On longer missions, maybe you want to do that. Uh, but what I think is a good idea is to have lots of different options so that no matter what situation you're thrown into, you're prepared. It's the Batman strategy. Everyone's wearing a bat belt, uh, a batter, batter utility belt. And the flamethrower is our batarang. When a small circular area or large circular area isn't going to cut it for our particular engagement, we can use the flamethrower maybe, and that's a long cone. Maybe they're all in a line. Maybe the grenades won't get them all, but the flamethrower will. Different options for different situations. Let's look at the weapon upgrade here. Uh, I think for uh, Wilder's particular build, I've built him with Shredder. I've built him more of a shooty gunner with Shredder and Chain Shot. Uh, so we want a scope on the mag cannon first of all. The Chain Shot carries a minus 15 uh, aim penalty to its ability already. So you need the scope to kind of get back in on that, I think. Uh, really, because otherwise it's quite tough. You never really want to use Chain Shot because it's so inaccurate. Uh, and also with Shredder, Shredder's a very important ability to be hitting armored enemies with. If you miss, you've really screwed the pooch and your whole turn can be thrown into disarray because you didn't land the Shred. So Scope makes it more likely you will land the Shred, makes it more likely you're going to have a happy turn. Uh, and that's also why you might have no noticed before, we gave the Perception PCS to Wadder in this case. We want that extra aim. Uh, you can put extra health. Uh, dodge on your Grenadiers, but I think if you're a shooty class, extra aim is just so valuable because if you kill the enemy, they can't shoot you back, so you don't need plus health. You just use plus aim, you make sure you hit, you make sure they die. Um, so that's why the scope's very good there. Now, obviously, an autoloader is also very useful for your Grenadiers, no matter what build they've gone, because even if you put de Demolition, if you pick Shredder, if you pick Chain Shot or whatever, you're going to be using your gun a lot. Uh, all the time. So an autoloader lets you keep loading that gun up. Now, unlike classes like the sharpshooter who gets, I'm gonna shoot five people in one turn with kill zone, uh, you're generally not firing too many times in one turn. You want the autoloader there so you're always ready to suppress. With the autoloader, you can move, take a free reload, and suppress. No problem at all. Uh, you can move, take a free reload, and demolition. You can salvo, Fire a grenade of your first action, take a free reload, suppress, shoot, do whatever you want. These guys go through a lot of ammo, so the autoload is very valuable there. If you get the third item slot for your mag cannons, you could probably think about, uh, I don't know, maybe a stock, so that, you know, if you, if you absolutely have to contribute to a fight and you don't want to burn all your grenades and stuff, you can get a guaranteed two damage in. It's really up to you. You could, uh, you could think about a hair trigger, but... The Grenadier has a lot of abilities where you're not using the gun, like suppression isn't going to trigger hair trigger as far as I know, so it's kind of wasted there. Um, you know, stuff like that. And if Wilder was built more the uh, more tanky grenade focused Grenadier, who gets blast padding, then the Exosuit's even better because now you've got an extra point of armor, you've stacked two armor. In that case, I'd either give them health, or I'd probably maybe give them dodge, 
uh, and bet on them, you know, stacking the dodge with their armor. It depends on how worried I am about their health compared to how much damage enemies are doing currently, is whether I take dodge or health. Dodge is going to keep your soldier taking less damage um, overall, uh, so it's going to keep them out of the sick bay for longer, and it's going to make them a more effective tank with better armor ratios, but just having more flat health, uh, depending on whether your dodge rolls or not, might just be the difference between whether you can take 13 damage over a really hard mission or 10, you know? So it depends what you need. And, you know, if Wowda didn't have Shred and he had Blast Padding instead, and we're talking about that kind of build, I would definitely be taking this Acid Grenade, because as you haven't got Shredder, your gun's not going to be doing shredding. You want to make up for that with a way to shred. You're bringing grenades anyway, bring an Acid Grenade. That makes up for your lack of shredding capability, uh, lets you contribute to those fights where there's a really heavily armored enemy that you want to be able to help take out. Or take whatever you want, I mean, that's just my recommendation. And in those cases, uh, I'd probably take a different kind of heavy weapon. That also helps me contribute to shredding enemy armor. Uh, something like that. Now, last but not least, I won't go in too much into the 5th class loadouts just yet. Let's talk about the specialist uh, to finish this up here for weapons, upgrades, and gear. So, with your specialist...